What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Kirby. What is up? It's actually Gambito Gaming. Ha, huh, I got you. We're playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe demo on Nintendo Switch. This is a game that is coming out real soon. There was a Nintendo Direct uh, a few days ago. Announced some pretty cool shit. Metroid Prime uh, Remaster is now available. Uh, and it's getting a physical release in a few days. Kind of holding out for that one, probably. We got a release date for this game and a demo. So let, yeah, let's hop into this demo. This is a remade Wii game. Seems Nintendo is doing that a lot recently with Metroid Prime as well. Uh, this one's actually a full from the ground up remake as far as I can tell. Uh, because the game didn't look like this when it first came out. Uh, it has the patent pended uh, Super Smash Bros. 3DS uh, stroke to set the five outline on everything in the game. I like that style. I know some people really don't. Uh, you could call it kind of a cell shaded type meme. I think they're also reusing assets from Kirby's Forgotten Land, I think it was. The Last of Us Kirby Edition, whatever that game was called. King DDD looks like he's from that game, which I don't mind at all. Reuse of assets, you know. Pokemon gets away with it, so why can't Kirby? And if we're reusing assets, you know. Forgotten Land was a really good game, so. I'm kind of down with that. I like the art style of this game. I think the cutscenes. You know, still put through this god-awful filter. I don't know why some game devs think this is a good idea. Would have much rather this just be a full screen. I don't think the paper's adding anything. Uh, let's go into cookie country, dude. That's my favorite country. You know, they stay out of most wars. A lot like Switzerland in that way. Playing uh, Middle Ground. And hey, they, they love a Girl Scout, you know? I'm in a Girl Scout cookie. I, I don't... I should have finished that phrase. Look at this, dude. Look at this crisp-ass fucking Kirby gameplay you're seeing right now, alright? This is one of my favorite Kirby games. Uh, I feel like I say that every time I sit down and play a Kirby game. Uh, Forgotten Land is definitely up there now, but in terms of a 2D traditional gameplay for Kirby, uh, Return to Dreamland is just a fucking fantastic game. Even the Wii version, like, this is obviously going to make it the most definitive way to play the game. But, uh, I played it when it first came out on the Wii, and whole diggity dog, that was probably one of my favorite Wii games, like, even above, uh, Galaxy and shit. It's just a very solid, tight five worlds, you know? You get in, you get out, you get your Kirby gameplay. Uh, I'm understanding they're adding quite a, f quite a bit to this, uh, version to, I guess, make it worth buying again, since it is technically just a remake. Uh, but it's stuff like Kirby is used to having, like, mini games and shit, so I'm not super mad they're changing any of that or anything. But yeah, I'm super hype. I know it's probably Kirby fatigue for some people at this point, uh, especially the 2D platformers. I know Star Allies came out a while back, but trust me when I say this is nothing like that garbage dump of a video game. Uh, it was so forgettable. I'm sure there's fans of it. Like, it's, it's an okay game. It sufficed for the time, but we were really, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel with Kirby back then. So after Forgotten Land, I think this was just like a... Ah, oh man, I don't know. Ace in the hole. Like, they... It's just a perfect release for Kirby. Like, they can get it in, get it out real quick because it's already a made game. I think the best course of action for Kirby from here on out is to do... Maybe a mainline 3D Forgotten Land type beat. And then remake some of his classics. I would love to see like Planet Robobot or uh, Triple Deluxe remade in the style, maybe. That would be amazing. I know those games are home on 3DS for a reason. But there's no reason they couldn't remake it for Switch at this point. But yeah, this is this is one of the games I am just ultra hyped for, man. I don't know. It's just classic good Kirby goodness. It's like this Squeak Squad is really fucking good. Amazing Mirror is good. Most of the most of the handheld Kirby games are really good. Uh, Superstar Saga. That one hasn't aged super well for me, personally, because I never played it as a kid. Uh, I much prefer some of the other ones. But yeah, man, Kirby's got a lot of good shit to offer, and it feels like it's only getting better from here. For a while there, I was getting worried after Star Allies came out. Because that shit was uh, straight garbage, you know. So I caught the direct, I fast-forwarded through all the boring parts, which was 85% of it. Oh, fuck! Oh, thank God. I wasn't thinking. I thought I'd just 
straight up killed that home dog. And then we wouldn't be able to see this cool move. This is pretty cool and all. I'll get back to my other thought in a second. I want to talk about this huge sword, you guys. Uh, these are cool. I don't mind them too much. They feel very, uh, just hit one button and, you know, the rest of the level is cleared. But Kirby was never meant to be challenging. But also, it is a little bit just like, just press one button, dude, you're good. So in that way, I kind of don't like it, but they're also cool. They got variations and shit. Excuse me, homeboy. You're in my path. Kirby, stop. Dude, what the f... Uh, did my controller fucking... Jesus Christ. Was that a glitch? <laughs> oh my god. He was really pushing it there. I don't know what I did. Uh, I don't remember my other thought now, because Kirby scared the fuck out of me. I'm not moving. I thought my controller disconnected. Oh, wow. It's because I, cause I had homie in my mouth, pause, and I fell straight to hell. Like, I would love another traditional Yoshi game in this style, where they're not trying too hard with the fucking yarn and the fucking sketches, uh, etched sketches. Like, I don't want to fucking play as etched sketch Yoshi, dude. Fucking leave it, leave leave some ideas on the drawing board, Miyamoto, please. Like, I would love a traditional Yoshi game that looked like this. Maybe just even remake the original Yoshi's Island at this point, because they had a really awful one on 3DS. It wasn't awful, it was just, it looked like fucking actual puke on a, on a 3DS screen. And I think it was supposed to be a sequel, but who the fuck ever played that game? So yeah, remake Yoshi's Island on Switch next. I think that would do really well too. I like that they're uh, taking initiative to remake Wii games now though. That's always pretty exciting. Uh, we, we were all expecting Metroid Prime. I think we were probably expecting them to do a triple pack again. So it's kind of concerning they're releasing all three separately, but they're probably doing that so they can uh, buffer out the release of Metroid Prime 4. Which makes sense. I don't blame them for that at all. Um, it's just probably uh, when it's all said and done, you know, you're probably going to be spending well over probably 120 bucks uh, for the trilogy. Which I mean, they are technically remade. I don't know actually. I haven't looked into it too much. I think it's technically just a remaster. I don't. Th I don't know if it's from the ground up or not. I re I really can't tell. This is a cool Kirby power up. Western Kirby. Fucking Chuck Norris Kirby, dude. Chuck Norris Kirby is so strong he could slam a revolving door. That's the only Chuck Norris joke I ever remember. Chuck Norris is so strong he could double grip a cheeseburger from McDonald's and flatten it to the size of a penny. That was a good one, too. Yo, what the fuck? Looking like a Pokemon headass? Looking like Chikorita? Looking like Chikorita's fucking fucked up sister? Get the fuck out of here, boy. These guys are kind of scary. And grip these up. You ever fucking lasso a hot dog through a wall? Check this shit out. You want to see me do it again? Too bad. Arthur Morgan be looking sick as fuck. Come here, boy. Oh, now I'm supposed to be Indiana Jones? Nah, fuck that. I'm still Arthur Morgan, dude. Ooh, fuck me, dude. That was so close to traumatic brain injury for Kirby. I almost I almost just did that to my homeboy. Look at that meat, though. Let's see. Damn, son. Got that crisp water physics on my hair, dude. Ooh, we're surfing on it? Ooh, Kirby hit up the tidal waves, dude. Yo, meet me up for fucking lunch at 3 p.m., dude. I gotta hit the surf while it's fresh, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Look at this, dude. Hitting the surf. Fucking skidding on some fish, dude. That's how you do it. Ooh, what? Dude, he can, like, fucking... He can come in on a wave, dude. Like he's boogie boarding. You ever catch a nice wave like that? Just... Ah! Holy fucking shit! That's, that's some good shit, dude. I like that a lot. I like this water ability a fucking lot, dude. Holy fuck! That's so cool. 
Ah, the, the abilities in this game were dope too, man. They were just hitting on all cylinders with this one. Ooh, we got some grapes, some hidden grapes. Bonus grapes, bonus grapes. I don't know if I ever want to change this surf skin. I do want to show some of the other abilities, but uh, I just want to surf through the section real quick, dude. Fuck that guy. <laughs> pineapple? I'll stop for a pineapple. Ooh, what you gonna do now? Looking like a gyroid from Animal Crossing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, here we go. I know how to take him out now. Ah! That's like a Squidward's volcano head, dude. His superhero. Damn, dude, that donut looks so good. Looks like one of them Walmart Johns you get. Whoo! One of them pull apart ones. God, leap. Make me fucking food in this game look delicious, dude. Here's the fire homeboy I was talking about. Ex Excalibur fucking fire homie. We can make the Chinese dragon of fire come through. Here he comes. Look at that. And that's her main attack. Get this dragon homeboy through. Get him, get him through again. Fuck it. We got a whole bar to use up here. A whole bunch of these innocent spring guys who aren't doing anything to Kirby at all. Oh, completely missed. Too bad. I got another one for you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, uh, uh, console slash god mode on you, you know, but it's fine. These guys never stood a chance anyway. Let's be honest, they're in a Kirby game. Get fucking dunked on and he fucking jumped into it, idiot. Uh oh. Just some lonely spiders, man, minding their own business? Nah, fuck him. Fuck him. Get a dragon in there, fuck him up, you know? Fuck this whole tree, fuck the environment, fuck Smokey, dude. We gotta get into this interdimensional portal right quick. At least, at least the Chinese dragon power has been taken away from Kirby because. Very obviously, very quickly, we realize he cannot uh, be trusted with that amount of power, dude. It's like Bill Clinton. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not <laughs> allowed to, you're not no, allowed to put it. Oh, God, these fucking spiders. Massive suck to get this one up. Let's go. Fucking uppercut that guy. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, the leaf one's so dope. I like the leaf one a lot. It's so stupid. Like, what am I, fucking Ivysaur in Smash, dude? Come on. We got Sphere Doomer here, dude. Throw up a Doomer cartoon. The Randy Orton grass uppercut he gets with this form. I mean, this is ultimate Kirby's final form easily. Because he's just that upper strike is like in any Mortal Kombat game post probably 2005. That upper strike is the only thing worth using. And that includes injustice. You're getting in any fucking tight situation, just crouch in a corner and uppercut until you hit, hit a couple off. And then that, that, that HP with a bar is going fucking down quick. That's a pro tip from not a pro, you know? All right, and we're through another level. This demo is actually pretty expansive. I thought they were uh, going to do the whole first world, but it's two levels and then the boss of the first world, which, of course, is Woody Wood, Woodpecker, uh, the, the tree homeboy, as we all know to be Kirby's first boss usually, with some variations throughout the series. Uh, there's also, I want to check it out, but we'll do it after I fight the tree guy. There's some mini games. Uh, just to give a quick, like, overview of what they're planning to add, I guess, for the game. We'll take the cutter for this one. I think that's probably the best one to use. Uh, some of the mini games seem pretty cool. They seem pretty uh, generic, some of the other ones. Uh, 
I think it'll be a cool little time waster, but that's all those have ever kind of been for Kirby games. I think there's been a few in the past that, you know, people really, you know, stand by and will actually go back and just play those over the regular Kirby game. But if I had to, if I was a betting man, I'd say uh, there won't be too many of those in this one. I think they're really just going to be more time wasters than anything. There is a cool new mode that uh, includes that uh, robot guy we saw, or that alien guy. Seems like it's a mode where you, you're kind of trying to get your powers back, and you it's like an upgrade tree type thing, and you kind of got to choose when you want certain powers and which ones you want over some. Cool idea, I think. Don't let me lose that. Uh, I wonder if they, it'll be executed at all. It's only a certain amount of levels, so I'm not holding my breath about it or anything. But it might be a cool little addition. It's just kind of, a lot of this feels like, you know, Nintendo's usual fluff to try to, you know, persuade people that, oh, it is worth 60 more dollars, you know, to replay this game that you love. But here's a few more additions so we can, you know, bump that price tag up to 20 bones. That's why you don't see any mini games of Metroid Prime and it's 40 bucks. <laughs> Which is even a little egregious. I think Metroid Prime should have been uh, a $30 game. But, you know, what are you going to do? Look at this. This game looks amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, I could eat that guy? Oh, I was talking so much mad shit. I didn't know I could eat that guy and get a power. Ah, uh, this game's going to be great, dude. It's legit one of my favorite Kirby games. And I'm so glad I already know that. Because I was really hyped for Star Allies. And when it came out, it was a huge stinker. So at least I already know I really love this game. And here's the uh, mini game. Seems like there's gonna be quite a few, but you know, they're more just Mario Party mini games. So take that with a grain of salt. I bet I, if there's like 12 or 13, 14 maybe, you know, 14 Mario Party mini games, not too bad. Little mass system is pretty cool because you can take them into the campaign. And here's the stuff I was talking about earlier. Where this homeboy, you know, gets socked out by Randy Orton or something. And loses all his powers. I think there's a few levels. With him. Honestly looks a little bit boring. Uh, until you get some powers. But after that it looks like some cool gameplay mechanics being introduced. And there's also four player co-op there. Pretty cool. I'll be interested to see. I'm not a huge fan of the environments. Uh, of course they're present in the base game, but you know, you're not going to get any snow levels in that, I feel like. Ah, it's just a beautiful looking game, dude. Look at that. Hot potato. Fucking strike the earth. Billiards. It's all here, dude. Alright, so that was the playable demo they threw on, uh, the eShop. We can take on purple emo w wispy woods, but I'm good. I don't want to kick a man while he's down. Let's go to Mary Magoland. Magoland. Magnesium. Let's play this one. This one's way more interesting. The other one's all right. I think it's you're supposed to have a uh, Joy-Con though, and I don't have one right now. You can play it normally, but then it's really boring. Uh, this one's all right. I could see this one being pretty fun. Uh, to replay a few times with some friends. It's a basic, just a uh, little arena shooter one. Where you can kind of power up the shots. You gotta reload a little bit. Shoot each other. Got a little bit of lives here and there. You got kind of alt shots you can do. After a while, there's a uh, powered up shot that comes out on the map. We got a waddle, or a meta knight and a waddle D mask, which is uh, something I never thought I'd see. We're wiping him off the planet, though. <laughs> oh my god! He's gone. He's actually just gone. I fucking actually wiped him off the face of the earth. It's like when gods die in God of War. There's no heaven or hell. They're just gone. <laughs> it's that real shit. Ooh. Alright, Waddle. You're getting it, too. See ya. Oh. See, it's so dirty to do that to somebody. Just eviscerate them. Like nothing to nothing to send back home, not even ash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll do it for this video. Uh, 
I might actually plan to do a full playthrough of this game when it comes out. I think it comes out in a couple weeks. Uh, it's such a good game. I mean, I'm going to at least just play through the campaign once. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in 2D Kirby games, this one's going to be really good. Especially if you didn't get a chance to play it on the Wii. I think it's one of the best ones. But yeah, I will be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching.